Optimizing GKE clusters for cost is not a one-time exercise. It's a longer journey to shift team and organizational culture while incrementally implementing best practices. One of these best practices is to use monitoring systems specific to GKE to help establish cost optimization as a discipline. Let's take a look at why we should do this and how it can be done. As you may have seen in previous videos from this series, there are a handful of critical areas to practice cost optimization in a GKE environment. We'll focus on three of these areas and how they fit into a monitoring system for cost optimization, specifically culture, bin packing, and app right sizing. Let's start by discussing culture. Teams who own GKE environments are not simply trying to drive down costs while ignoring everything else. They instead must balance cost-saving techniques while ensuring the applications running on GKE are still performant, stable, and continue to deliver value to their users. To effectively balance all of this, teams have begun incorporating cloud financial management, or FinOps, into their culture. This is the practice of building systems for financial accountability in the pay-as-you-go cloud world. Now put this into the context of Kubernetes. Rapid adoption of Kubernetes in particular means that many teams are still learning and establishing their own best practices. This is true when it comes to managing the cost of running their clusters, especially as they grow. Continuous monitoring of these environments enables the necessary cultural shift. When teams have proper tooling and data at their disposal to practice cost optimization, the awareness shifts the discipline earlier in the software development lifecycle. So what specifically should we aim to accomplish with monitoring here? First, we'll want to focus on a cluster administrator-centric monitoring system. We can do so with a focus on cluster bin packing. Bin packing is the ability to effectively schedule workloads across nodes in a cluster in such a way that ensures there are little wasted resources, CPU and memory, for example. Efficient bin packing is achieved with a real-time understanding of how much resources workloads request and how those workloads fit into the various amounts of allocatable resources that the VMs in a cluster have available. Cluster administrators, when empowered with the right monitoring data, can improve how they support cluster tenants while also ensuring that provision infrastructure is not wasted. We can even set up alerting policies on the data collected for the most egregious cases of over-provisioning to proactively kick off the process of cost optimization. Developers can also benefit from a different perspective, a monitoring system that captures recommendations for app right sizing. This enables developers to better understand how much of their requested resources are actually being utilized by their applications. With a deep understanding of scenarios where they may be over-provisioned in their workload requests, developers can make informed decisions on how they can easily reduce cost. Now that we've looked at the importance of culture, bin packing, and app right sizing for GK cost optimization, the next step is setting up the monitoring system. Be sure to check out the paper linked in the description. We published an end-to-end -end guide on how you can set up such a monitoring system with Google Cloud Monitoring. In the next video, we'll cover how cluster administrators can set up monitoring for cluster bin packing to optimize costs on GKE. Stay tuned.